Healing is a very important part of the storage because the moment you have wounds on the potatoes, and there's three basic wounds that we're talking about, skinning, shattering, and cuts. And these provide a portal for diseases to enter into the tuber, Owenia, uh, bacterial soft rot, dry rot, um, and they can't get into the tuber without having such a portal. Also, of course, wounding um, causes water losses and shrinkage, and we heard quite a bit of talk about shrinkage in storage. So, healing those wounds is a critical part of bringing potatoes into storage so that they can maintain a quality in storage. Uh, for instance, if they get infected with, with bacterial soft rot, that can go in, on and affect a lot of tubers in the storage, and you could lose a good part of it. Same with things like pythium leak, etc. So you have to allow the potatoes to heal as they go in, and that's what is called the curing period. And it's very sensitive to temperature, primarily, but also relative humidity. And there's a process involved, uh, much like a person would heal from having a cut. And of course, the uh, lower the temperature, the slower that healing process is. There's another point, point aspect is that when you start taking potatoes out of storage and they're seed potatoes, you're going to plant them. What do we do? We cut the potatoes. Well, when we cut them, we have now wounded them. So we have to have a healing period for those potatoes before we actually put them into the ground. If they're not healed and you plant them in the ground, especially just remember that the soil is a whole soup pathogens. It contains fusarium, it contains erwinia, it contains rhizoc, it contains everything under the sun. I mean, it's a soup. And the barrier, you, you, you've got an open, huge portal for all of these to come in and destroy the potatoes. So you have to let that healing process occur. Otherwise, you're going to lose a stand. I mean, 90% stand can be completely destroyed simply because of, of, of bacterial soft rot. It's two parts. Of, of wounding. Harvesting, when you're piling them into the storage, and now you got to keep them for months in storage. The other aspect with respect to seed potatoes, so when you take them out of storage, you're going to cut them and you're going to plant them. So the superization process for seed, where you have to treat them a little bit. Well, that's why fungicide, uh, or people sometimes use a non-fungicide bark dust. The purpose of that is actually to dry up the wound. Okay. Because you need to have a, a protective layer there. And as far as healing the potatoes as they go into storage, you need to, uh, relative hum humidity needs to be fairly high. Yes, that's the higher the humidity, but you have to be careful of condensation because condensation can destroy you in storage. Because, for instance, a winia, bacterial soft rot, is an anaerobic bacteria. It does not like air. Because of that, if it, if it condenses on it, you create a, a greenhouse type of effect where you block off air. Or when he is very happy with that. So you have to be careful of that. Um, so a high humidity is fine, but you cannot have condensation. That, that's critical. Um, you know, especially since to get faster healing, you may warm up the potato more. Well, warming up warmer conditions promote pathogenic activity. So you're playing a, a, you know, you have to find a balance for all of this to happen. And, and part of the re, uh, way to avoid the condensation is uh, good ventilation? Ventilation, absolutely critical. Again, we remember that a winnie is an anaerobic bacteria. And so if it doesn't get exposed to air, to oxygen, it's happy. Don't think of it as a person who wants to, who needs the oxygen. They they don't care for it that much.